Hey guys, I have made it to Atlanta. I'm in my hotel room and I'm gonna show you around a little bit. So this is my little living quarters, this little kitchenette here. Nice, cool. This is my little living room area. Nice. Um, they're bringing up my bags now and this is um, my bed. Look at this giant TV. Whoa. <laughs> in the wall and everything so that's really nice um yeah and then there's like a bathroom in here i thought this was cool hello just like a nice vanity area so i can get ready and stuff that's really nice and yeah just a cool blue bathroom with a shower Hey guys, I'm sitting here in the green room. I am waiting for them to bring me some dinner and then I'm gonna be going on stage. So it's about 6.30, I preach at like 7.45, something like that. Um, but anyway, I just feel like the Holy Spirit drop and tell me to pick up the camera. And what I felt like he kind of said to me was this, he loves you and no matter what you're going through, there is another side, you know? There was a time where I preached outside, okay, outside with no covering. It wasn't even like under a cabana or nothing like that. It was literally outside. And I just want to encourage you that, you know, there's another side when you obey God and obeying God is so important because you just don't know what he has on the other side of it. You know, I never knew I was going to be in green rooms and be behind the scenes and stuff like that and i just knew i need to obey god because god is god you know you know there's so much breakthrough in fearing god and just obeying what he says and you might be praying for something you might not understand how him saying to do this affects that but it does because god tests you he wants to see if you're faithful sometimes there's a process and you need to be obedient in the process all right, you guys, I'm going to go eat, and then I'm going to go hop on stage. Love ya. Bye. You know, my mom and dad used to tell us, you can, you know people, and the Bible also says, you know people by their fruit. Yes. 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 Amen. Yes. Our amazing voice that will come up next. hotel room um the conference went really well he has such a strong word so many people came up to me afterwards and were just like 
thank you for being obedient. And you know, it was weird because there was a lot of things that, you know, I didn't really want to say. And I just kind of, I felt like the Lord wanted me to say them. And so many people were like, thank you for being obedient. You said things that I need to hear. And, you know, I just want to encourage you, like, if you kind of feel like scared to give words sometimes or scared to tell part of your story or something like that, just know that you might be helping someone if God's prompting you for that. So just say what needs to be said. And I, I think I even learned that more tonight because there was a couple of things where I'm like, I don't really want to say that. <laughs> and like the Lord was like, go ahead and say it. I was like, oh man. But yeah, so I just want to encourage you, like, just step out and say it. But yeah, so I don't know. I, we're probably going to hopefully go to bed soon. I know Izzy needs to talk to me about a couple of things that have been requested of me. And so we're going to go through that. And then Hopefully after that, I'm either going to bed or taking a shower. I guess we'll see which one happens. Good morning, everyone. It's the second morning of the conference. Um, I don't know if you can tell, for those of you that are very keen to details, you can maybe tell that I'm in a different room. And um, I had to move rooms last night. There was a dog that would not stop barking all night long. Um, and... I was just like, I don't know what to do with this because like, what am I supposed to do about it? And uh, Renee and Izzy, my assistant, were just kind of like, absolutely not. Like, we're going to move your room. So we had to take everything and move it to this room. And so it was kind of crazy. But luckily, the hotel management let that happen. Um, so yeah, that was a little chaotic. But <laughs> we're here. Um, this morning, I'm going to be just getting ready right now. Um, Izzy maybe will be here 45 minutes to, um, tell me what's for breakfast downstairs and go get that. And then, um, I guess then I have to finish getting ready. Um, we have to drive to the conference. We'll be picked up, I think at 11 ish. Um, and then, yeah, I'll be on a panel today. So that will be interesting. Um, and then I'll also, um, I think I might be getting some kind of award today. They're doing like, um, a kingdom builders award thing. And there was a bunch of honorees and Izzy kind of told me, she's like, I think you might be getting one of these awards. So we'll see, um, if I'm not, then that's fine. At least it's nice to be honored with the award, be an honoree of the award. But anyway, so that's kind of the agenda for today. Um, yeah, so we'll see what the Lord does. So we have arrived at the conference center. Um, we are about to have lunch with the ladies. We're gonna do a little luncheon, then we're gonna do the panel, and then we're gonna have the award ceremony, and then there's some speakers after that and stuff, so yeah. Looks like we got some turkey and cheese, ham and cheese. Looks like them some box lunches. What's that, roast beef and cheese. Ooh, look at those salads. Those look nice. Look at that. This is for if you have a lot of stuff going on. Um, I know we're all in different seasons. Like it, it would be hard to speak to an entire room, okay? Um, but for for someone who needs to hear this, I like like Shay. I have a lot of calendars. I don't just have one. Um, so here's something to think about, though. Mental overload, okay? You got a million things you gotta do. I gotta do stuff for the kids. I gotta do stuff for my husband. I gotta do stuff for me. I gotta do stuff for my grandkids. I gotta do stuff for the business that the church is asking me to do. Like you got all this stuff. So, and I have that every week. I have like mental overload every week. And so on Sundays, I mean, you can do whatever day you want. It's like I do mental dump. And I just write on a piece of paper every single thing that just pops in my head. It can be anything. It can be like that trash over there stinks. It can be that simple. It's driving me crazy. It could be that simple to as important as, you know, I have to take this video or something like that. If anything that's driving me nuts, all mental overload, put it all on paper. Then I sit there with that mental overload and now it's all out there. And I say to the Lord, I say, what do I need to deal with this week? Okay. Then I take those things and I put those things in my planner. Okay. I do have a paper planner. You don't have to have a paper planner. Paper planner. And I put those things in my planner. However, the first thing I put in my planner is not the things, it's the time. I put the, how much time God wants me to spend with him each day is the first thing I put in my planner. I don't dare put anything else first. Because it's like, I want to make sure I check that off. Why? Because the devil's going to try to steal your time with God first and foremost. And if you don't spend time with God each morning, that stuff ain't going to get done. Because you need that full fuel to get out there and do it. 
Okay, so that's first. So I have that paper planner, and then I fill it out as the Lord leads, and everyone's going to be different with that. Then I have a house planner, okay, and that's online, and I use Google Docs for that or Google Calendar or whatever. And that's me, my husband, and Evan's stuff. Okay, that's like his doctor's appointments, Ryan's uh, physical therapy stuff, like whatever. His family's coming into town this weekend. So my husband and I always know where each other is at the same time. So he don't have to call me and be like, well, do you have something going on on this day? He can just look at the calendar and that uh, takes time off of our plate that we don't have to have those conversations. He just pulls up the calendar. We both have access to it. And so we don't have to compare counters. We have a joint thing for the family. Then I have a ministry um, thing, okay? So I have different, I have a sauna, okay? Um, that's kind of like, I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of like list format, um, stuff like that for, you could use it for business or ministry or whatever. And so I will add collaborators on that and they can put like, okay, I put all the tasks for everybody to do. And then they can put like, I did this, we need to follow up with this, like whatever like that. And then I also have, I have a habit tracker. Okay, now this is another thing that I have and I've put, the, it's in my planner as well. And it's just like, I put, did I spend time with God this day, habit tracker? Did I work out today? Did I, whatever your habits might be that you're trying to make or break. But I think what we don't measure, we don't improve. Okay? Because we don't even know where we're at. If you don't actually know where you're at, because sometimes you have to have a conversation with yourself and you're like, yeah, okay, like I, I worked out recently. Well, how much did you work out? Well, I don't know. Well, how, do, how can we improve on what you don't know where you're actually at? You know, it's like we have to quantify it to really get to the next level in something. And it's like, but also by doing that, by having some kind of habit tracker, and you can probably download something offline or order something or make your own if you don't want to spend the money, whatever. It's just like you start to see why did I, why every Wednesday I can't work out? What is going on on Wednesdays? You start to see your own patterns. And as you see your own patterns, it's easier for the pattern to break because oftentimes exposure brings breakthrough. Next. Let's give it up. There she goes. Praise God. is over. Um, it went really well today. I spoke on a panel today and that was really good. A lot of people had a lot of good questions. I got a reward today for being a kingdom builder from the Sunday Foundation. So I don't know if you could see it. It's my award. I'm very honored and blessed to have that. Just, just pretty. I just love the purple on it. It's just so fun. Um, so that was, um, great and a very big honor you know it's always great when people notice what you do in the kingdom you know i think sometimes as kingdom builders there's not like you know some big award ceremony for that normally so it's always nice when someone notices the sacrifices you made for the kingdom so that was really sweet that they honored me in that way um i got to meet so many beautiful women business women that just um really love God and really just want to take their lanes. And so that was fun. And we even had someone that drove in from Maryland just to attend the conference. So that was really sweet and special. And yeah, it was a great time. Um, and then we kind of came back here. We closed everything down. And then um, 
I just talked to my husband on the phone for a little while. I ate some dinner. And now I'm repacking everything up. Um, something that we always have to do is we have to make sure the bags weigh right. And it's a little interesting because we have to like redistribute everything based on how much products we sold and stuff like that. And so we're doing that. Um, and then we basically, once I'm done getting all the suitcases packed up, I'm probably just going to get ready for bed, go to bed. And then um, probably be up at like six or something. Um, we're headed to the airport at 8.45 a.m. And then I'm out of here. And then I have a um, another online conference I'm going to be part of on Tuesday. So I got to re-switch my mindset and get prepared for that. And then I also have a video we need to edit. So that's kind of what I'm going to be working on. But yeah, so that's a little bit of my travels. Um, yeah, so let me know what you guys think about this. Um, do you like traveling? Um, have you been to Atlanta before? What do you think of Atlanta? Let me know in the comments. All right, you guys. I love you. I'll see you in the next video.